welcome back. This is case of the week number two, ovarian torsion. I'm Dr. Dan Koval. Let's take a look at the case. So here we have a transabdominal ultrasound view of the pelvis in a female patient presenting to the emergency department with acute pelvic pain. And notice how the left ovary is very enlarged and heterogeneous, nearly nine centimeters in size compared to that right ovary. And it's located posterior to the uterus here. On the sagittal view, we're seeing again the enlarged heterogeneous ovary with some adjacent free fluid posterior to the uterus, and there's the urinary bladder. So when we add color Doppler, concerningly, we don't see any internal flow within this enlarged ovary. We add power Doppler because that typically has more sensitivity, but we also see no internal flow within the ovary. Again, as we continue to interrogate that enlarged heterogeneous left ovary, we don't see any internal vascularity just this heterogeneous amorphous architecture. And comparing to the right ovary here, notice how we do have internal flow within the right ovary, but nothing within that left ovary. So that's a good comparison image. When we evaluate the ovary more closely on the transvaginal series, we get a better look at the architecture and notice how amorphous and heterogeneous that architecture is. We're losing the normal ovarian morphology. And the only follicles we're seeing are somewhat peripherally displaced. Here we don't see any follicles on this view, just a hemorrhagic cyst here within the ovary. Now in this view, we add color Doppler, and again, we don't see any flow, which is very concerning for torsion, but we do see these peripherally displaced follicles, and notice how they have a thick echogenic rim. That's known as the follicular ring sign, something that we see occasionally within a torsed ovary, but you don't typically see within a normal ovary. And again, we don't see any flow on the power Doppler images of the ovary. When we evaluate with spectral Doppler, we don't get any waveforms, arterial or venous. Cine clips are a great way to look at the ovarian morphology. And here, notice that there's just complete loss of the normal echotexture. It's just heterogeneous, irregular, and all these follicles are peripherally displaced, again, with thick echogenic rims indicating the follicular ring sign. Here we have a hemorrhagic cyst and a bit of fluid adjacent to the torsed ovary. The transverse cine clip shows similar findings with these peripherally displaced follicles, very enlarged ovary with loss of normal morphology very heterogeneous, and again, some fluid adjacent to the ovary. So let's take a look at some key points of ovarian torsion. So torsion occurs when there is rotation of the ovarian vascular pedicle causing obstruction to venous outflow and arterial inflow. And that yields an enlarged heterogeneous ovary due to hemorrhage and edema. The follicles are displaced and appear as small peripheral cysts. So at this point, you may wonder, well, how do you differentiate this appearance from polycystic ovarian syndrome? Because that can give you a string of pearls appearance of small peripheral follicles, right? Well, in that case, though, the ovaries will not be heterogeneous. They'll be normal in morphology with a prominent echogenic central stroma. You won't have hemorrhage and edema altering the morphology. In addition, with torsion, you often will see this follicular ring sign where you have a thick hyperechoic rim surrounding the follicles of the torsed ovary, something that you won't see in the contralateral normal ovary. Now, classically, there'll be absent vascular flow, but keep in mind that up to 60% of patients with torsion will actually have normal, intact color Doppler flow, which is a little scary. <laughs> even more scary is you might even have intact arterial flow, but what we most commonly see is decreased or absent venous flow. What we sometimes see is the twisted vascular pedicle, which is actually the most definitive sign of torsion present in up to 88% of patients, according to a study by Dr. Lee. And with that, we may see the worst whirlpool sign when you add flow to this twisted vascular pedicle you'll see a twisting a whirling of the color doppler and just to follow up this patient's ovary was successfully detoured in the operating room via laparoscopy all right that's it for case of the week number two ovarian torsion thanks for watching you can catch these lectures each week by subscribing to our podcast youtube channel or by following us on social media until next time radiology is life